Ziggy from Ziggy Knows Disney, and today we're going to show you how to rent a minivan at Walt Disney World. Let's take a look. So basically, first you have to download the Lyft app onto your smartphone. And so we've already downloaded it. And you would open it up like this in Lyft. And here it shows me my location, the Disney's Yacht and Beach Club Resort. So you're going to select your, your pickup point, which I've already done. And you're going to select your type of lift. And we're going to go minivan, two minutes away. Once you've made that selection, set the pickup point. Choose pickup spot, main lobby is perfect. And confirmation. Now, it tells us here minivan service, it has your credit card payment in there. Now this, as we know, is $20. Uh, per ride anywhere in Walt Disney property. So it doesn't matter if you're going to the Magic Kingdom, Disney Springs, resort to resort, it could be anywhere. It's gonna be a $20 flat, flat fee. So let's go into request minivan service. And it's contacting a nearby driver. Oh, how do you know? It's going to arrive in one minute. So let's see how it goes. Okay. My shoes on tight. Is, but if we did, it would be perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. What kind of cars are cars these? Are these? These are Chevy Traverses. Chevy Traverses. Really? How are you guys fitting back there? Awesome. Nice, yeah. nice and roomy. How is it, Dad? Zig, how is it? It's good. It's great. Hi, guys. Okay. What's our so destination? We're off to Disney Springs. Perfect. No, uh, east side or west side? We're going to Paddlefish. Okay. So I, don't I can know exactly. drop you off at the ballet line. Okay. Ballet, ballet pickup. Perfect. Everybody get their seatbelt on? Mouse rules, you know. Even in the back seat? Yes, please. Well, I prefer it. As long as everybody's secure. Yeah, that way. The, mini dri the minivan drivers keep you real safe. What have some of the, uh, the guests been saying about us so far? People love it. Yeah. We take people where uh, the ride service providers can't go. Mm -hmm. uh, we can take our guests to the uh, <laughs> right close to Pioneer Hall for do review. Yeah. Oh, that's helpful. Mickey's Backyard Barbecue from resort to resort, spot point to point. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. And why should why should somebody ride in a minivan instead of the bus trap or uh, instead of a regular Uber? We can go places where they can't. <laughs> like? uh, we can take you, if you're staying at, say, All Star Sports, we can take you right up to your building. Other ride service providers uh, will have to pick up and drop off at the front desk. Oh, that's helpful. Or not the front desk, but the front lobby. <laughs> front lobby yeah. Can you turn on the radio just a tiny bit? Yeah. That's nice also for, like, I'm thinking of something like Animal Kingdom Lodge, like the Kidani Village, which is super far out. That would come in. That would come in handy for sure. Mm -hmm. Also, places like the Magic Kingdom, right? You can. Yes, we can drop off in bus stop, bus uh, slot number eleven. That is reserved just for us. Yeah. 
So, and if you, otherwise, if you took like an Uber, you, they would have to drop you off at the tri uh, ticket, ticket and the transportation. Other providers would drop you off at the transportation and ticket center, and you'd have to take a monorail or a uh, ferry boat to the Magic Kingdom. Gotcha. Gotcha. Cool. And you would pick up the same places, too? Yes. So, if it's the front entry or in front of the lodge that you're staying, then it would be no problem. We can pick up at any Walt Disney World Resort property. Got it. it. Has to be a Disney property. So Swan and Dolphin don't count. Uh, we can drop off there. We haven't extended our service to that resort yet. We've just been online about six weeks. Cool. You know, like with the Magic Bands, they rolled them out gradually. Mm -hmm. Now, can you? Um, so, which resorts can people pick up? Disney's Yacht Club, Disney's Beach Club, Disney's Boardwalk, Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge, and Disney's Wilderness Lodge. And that's it. Currently, mm -hmm. that's the not the Polynesian or not Grand Floridian or anything like that. Not at this time. We'll be rolling out eventually, but you know, as with anything, you want to do it gradually and yep. make sure all it's all good. So you guys are working off the deluxe resorts to start. That's where we were launched. Because like Caribbean Beach up ahead here, you don't do it right at this time? Well, here's the thing. If a guest has already stayed, say at the Yacht Club, Beach Club, any of our qualifying resorts or offered resorts, mm -hmm. and they come back and they're staying at one of the resorts where we're not offering the service, they can still request us because they're part of the family already. With my 20 year ring. Uh, 20 year ring, wow. 20 plus. Wow. Like, Let's go look at that ring. Look at that. 20 years. That's what did cool. you do before driving the minivan? <laughs> what didn't I do? <laughs> In 1977, I worked the Main Street Electrical Parade uh, audience control, crowd, crowd control, uh, on the initial uh, launching of the parade. Uh, I worked in the Magic Kingdom from 1978 to 80, left, went to school, got my degree, came back in 1988, opened the Grand Floridian, opened the uh, Ariel's Restaurant, the Beach Club, in the sci-fi dining theater. Um, through a fortunate set of circumstances, I ended up uh, working in the marketing department where I was there for about 18 years. And then I had some issues I had to deal with in my home. So I left, came back in 13. And I worked at the Reservation Center, I worked at Epcot Special Events, Flower and Garden Festival, Food and Wine Festival. Wow, um, you've been everywhere. <laughs> Say. Did you request to, to drive? Or? Absolutely. My last role was a concierge, and I kind of think of myself as a concierge on wheels. service we offer for what the fee is is comparable yep. and uh, exceed it offers again stuff that the other providers can't deliver mm -hmm. yeah. well it's nice too because they're all cast members right so they can give you like yeah, information on the yep. parks and the, on the Walt Disney World every minivan driver has been with the company for at least a year okay um, got people. I've been you know, with the company quite a while. There's folks who've been with the company even longer than me on the mm -hmm. team. So, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's... So you have that expertise from from the drivers and... Yeah. And that Disney feel that hopefully the cast members are going to give you, whereas maybe other ride services you don't know if you're going to get somebody friendly or not friendly. And, and we have vehicles that can accommodate guests traveling in wheelchairs as well. Okay. Oh, wow. yeah. And the guest doesn't even need to 
yanked out of the wheelchair. We have it so that we can secure the wheelchair to the deck of the vehicle. Really? Wow. That's that's handy for sure. Yeah. If so you there, like. there are two drop points in Disney Springs for yes. the minivans. Yes. There's one for the east and one for the west. Yes, and I can also drop off at drop off only at valet. So if you want, I can drop you off here or I can drop you off at valet. Which uh, whichever one is closer, I guess. Towards well, battle. honestly, I think there's a little bridge that'll take you over that. So I'd say paddlefish should be a good way. Here. Okay. Sure. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you very much for driving with us. All right. Okay, so what did you guys think of it on your, your first ride in the minivan? Very comfortable. The back seat was pretty roomy for three people. I thought it was so exciting to be on the minivan. It was very nice ride. It was comfortable, and the driver knew about Disney. It was nice that we had six people on the van. We didn't have to take two cabs for the price. You really can't beat it. Yeah. What do you think, Steffi? You liked it? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so I guess it's a winner. It's a winner. We'll do it again. We'll have to do it again another time. Wins.